what gives a clue? An egg is supposed to grow into a chicken. And how come my little brother didn't turn out to be a kitten? When you plant a corn seed, you never find seaweed in the garden plot. They all know what it takes. They seem to make mistakes and become what they are not. There must be some instruction, but what could they be? How did I know how to grow to turn out? Look just like me. Jeans, Jeans, Jeans is a musical science presentation that I wrote about uh, genetics and evolution, especially targeted for kids ages uh, about K through 6. I've always been interested in science. In fact, I nearly have a PhD in genetics. Uh, a few years back, I was substituting in the Berkeley school system, and I was amazed by, about the uh, lack of information and knowledge about genetics and evolution, not only from the kids in the classes, but the teachers as well. Uh, I decided that what this world needs is a good science show uh, written about genetics and evolution. And so I wrote Genes, Genes, Genes. There are two kinds of earlobes. You could either have what we call the attached earlobes. That's like on this picture. That means the skin on the earlobe connects right to the side of your head. There's no space. So we call it the attached earlobe. But there's another kind. This is what we call the free earlobe. That means the skin on your earlobe does not attach to your side of your head. There's a space and it kind of flops around. You could call it the floppy earlobe, but they don't. They call it the free earlobe. Can you tell which kinds of can you tell which kinds of earlobes you've got? I love my earlobes. Earlobes. They're always perfectly matched. I love my earlobes, little skin globes, whether they're free or attached. Well, they aren't much good for anything but hanging tiny little rings. I love my earlobes, earlobes. They give me two more places to scratch. There aren't very many school assemblies on science, and that's what makes this show pretty unique. But you know, the very first question I had to ask, and the question that the National Center for Science Education is concerned about is, is this good science? And the first thing I had to do was read the script and find out what kind of science is he presenting to the kids. And that was the, the, the most persuasive part of it for me. Uh, the science is good. It's uh, appropriate concepts for the age level of the kids, uh, but they're not dumbed down. Uh, it's hard to do this. It's really hard to, to, to communicate complicated scientific ideas to kids who are young without doing violence to those concepts and, and theories. And, the Gene Show does it. The Gene Show manages to get these ideas across accurately. Now suppose I was a great big fish, like say I was a shark, and I wanted to eat this pretty blue fish with the pink lips. What's the first thing I'd have to do? I'd have to catch her. You think I can catch her? Yes. Uh, let's see. Rah! Catch her. <laughs> yeah. Was that hard for me to catch her? No. Why not? Because I'm faster, right? That's no big surprise. All those bluefish with the pink lips have these wimpy little tails. That's why we swim so slowly. Most of them don't live very long. They get caught and eaten. Yeah, but suppose I had a big tail like this. That could swim really fast. I could jam. You'd never catch me. Oh, yes, I could. Oh, no, you couldn't. Oh, yes, I could. Oh, no, you couldn't. Sure, I could. Ah! Ah! Yeah! Our live performance works very well, but we can only reach a limited number of, uh, of students. It seems to make more sense to make a video. 
And of course, if you're making a video, uh, you're not limited by what goes on in one room or in one 40-minute period when you're presenting the show. You can go to different locations. You can uh, use special effects to illustrate specific points. We'll be able to get the word out about the videotape of this program because the National Center is an organization of teachers and scientists. We have connections with the universities, we have connections with the school districts, we have good relationships with science teacher organizations and others who deal with this area. We'll be able to get the word out and let people know that this excellent teaching tool is available. Machines. Talking about genes. You got genes in every cell of your body, that's true. They're the reason you turn out to be you. Genes. Talking about genes. There are many thousands of genes you should know, and they control how all parts of your body will grow. You're born with half your genes from mom, with half from your dad, but you're a brand new combination. Let's see what we have. Genes. Talking about genes. You got genes in every cell of your body, that's true. And they're the reason you turn out to be you. Genes. Talking about genes. The thing that kids really like about this show is that it's fun. There's music, there's action, there's comedy, and they really enjoy that. They don't even know that they're learning a lot of information. The science in the Gene Show is really good, but what makes this program unique is the skill and talent and energy that Alan Spector has put into it. This program needs to be seen by a lot more students. It works. We can be almost anything.